All right, now we're going to do a little solving with these, and we're going to see how this goes. Um, Carl Schwartz has a travel has total travel expenses of six hundred and seventy six dollars. His transportation was two fifty. His lodging was one hundred and forty five, and he had additional cost of sixty dollars. If dinner costs dinner is twice as much as lunch, how much is his lunch? Okay, so this is a little different. So this time they gave us the total. And we have to find out some individual expenses. So remember the total goes over here. The total was $676. Over here, let's put the individual expenses. He had that $250 for transportation, $145 for lodging, and $60 for anything else. He also had apparently dinner and lunch. They want to know how much lunch was if dinner is twice as much as lunch. So here's where we bring in variables. Let's call lunch X. We don't know how much lunch is. If dinner was twice that much, what could we write for dinner? It would be two times X. Okay. So over here on the end, we add an X for our lunch and a 2X for our dinner. Because dinner was twice as much as lunch, it would be two X's. And here we have an algebra problem that we need to solve. So the 676 stays the same over here. But we can combine our like terms. We can add these numbers together, the 250, the 145, and the 60. We get 455. Plus, we can combine these also because they're both x's. We have 2x and one more is 3x. We're going to go ahead and solve this equation. So we subtract 455 from both sides of the equation. Again, our goal when we're solving the equation is to get the variable, in this case the x, all by itself. Okay, so now we have 3x equals $221. We have 3 times x, so again, to solve here, we're going to do the opposite of multiplying by 3, and we're going to divide by 3. And we get, wow, I don't know where this guy's staying, but we get $73.67 for x. And remember, x stood for the price of lunch. So apparently... <laughs> He ate at some pretty nice places because the cost of lunch for him was $73.67. One last example here's Maldo Geronimo. He has two day training sessions for an oxygen equipment company. When he was traveling last month, his lodging was $145 a night for two nights. Okay, so we want to make sure we catch that. That was two nights. Um, he had brex a breakfast and a lunch that were $35 per day. His total transportation expenses were six hundred, excuse me, $462. He has a budget of $1,200. What's the maximum he can spend on dinner for each of the two nights? Let's lay out what we know so far. What do we know so far? We know that he has, we know his total travel expenses. Sorry, get my pen out here. Um, we know his budget. Okay, so he can spend $1,200. Um, his transportation expenses were $462. He had lunch both days at $35 per day. The per day tells us we know this was two days, so he had two lunches at $35 a day. He also stayed two nights in a hotel, and it was $145 a night. They're saying he also had dinner, and he ate dinner twice. Okay, so it's because it says two nights. I'm going to put that as 2D, because the question is asking what's the maximum he can spend on dinner each night. 
Okay, and it was two nights. I'm calling dinner, the price of dinner, D. Again, we have an equation we have to solve. First, let's do some simplification. So any of this multiplication over here, let's get that done. 2 times 35 is 70. And 2 times 145 is 290. Plus the 2D. Now we combine our like terms. So we add the 462, the 70, and the 290. So now we have 1,200 equals, if we total those, 822 plus 2d. Again, we want to solve for d, so we're going to subtract 822 from both sides. We have 2d equals, and over here we have 100, excuse me, 378 dollars. Our last step, we have 2 times d, so we, to remove that, we would divide both sides by 2. And we get that D is $189. So I'm thinking he's in pretty good shape. He could spend $189 a night on dinner and still be within his budget.